Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Welcome to the DNX channel. Today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of a dark sample that I just made recently, kind of in the style of Nardowick. Um, I made this sample recently and I thought it was hard, so I figured I'd break it down and show everything I did to make it. Uh, all the sounds I used for this sample are from a bundle I just dropped with two last week. Um, it's got an analog lab bank, a one-shot kit, and a sample pack. But for this video, I use sounds exclusively from the analog lab bank and the one-shot kit. Um, so I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for that if you're interested uh, but anyways there's a lot of effects and uh, sample manipulation in this video so hopefully you guys learn something new or take something away um, don't forget to subscribe to the DNX channel and let's get right into it all right I got the final sample pulled up here we're sitting at 160 BPM and the final sample is in C minor um, as you can see I dropped it down three semitones so that means that we were at D sharp minor when I was making the sample and at the very end I pitched it down from D sharp to C so everything I'm gonna be showing is gonna be in D sharp and then like I said at the end I, I uh, pitch it down three semitones but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just play the sample so you can hear how it sounds and then as usual we'll just go through and break down everything I did to make it Alright, so as you can hear, really dark, really ambient, definitely something for Nardowick. Um, but for the first sound, I pulled up this pad from the Nebula Analog Lab Bank, and I came up with this pattern right here. As you can see, it's really repetitive, and that's something that I notice about a lot of the Nardowick-style melodies is that they're really repetitive. So I came up with this pattern right here. I just have three notes, each at C-sharp, so three different octaves with the same note. And then I have notes in between each of those notes, just kind of playing a... Uh, like I said, a really simple, really repetitive melody. I don't know any music theory, so I can't really explain the music theory behind it. So I just kind of went with what sounded good. I'm gonna go ahead and play it with this WAV file right here um, because my computer, as you can see, the CPU is like getting destroyed right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play. This is what it sounds like just with no effects or anything like that. Alright, actually, I lied. I added some effects to that. Um, I added a halftime at 25%, um, an EQ to take out a lot of the highs and a lot of the lows, and then I added this uh, Good Hertz Tremolator Control, um, which isn't coming up right now, but basically it just makes the sound um, tremolo, which makes it go in and out, the sound go up and down. But yeah, like I said, I just rendered that out as an audio file, and then what I did is I put that to its own mixer track, and then I pitched it up two semitones. We were in C-sharp, I went from C-sharp to D-sharp, and then I added even more effects. So I added um, this wow control, which again is not coming up, but that just adds, uh, it's kind of like RC20, just adds some wobble, makes it sound more vintage. And then I added um, this low high, which takes out some of the lows and the highs. Added a uh, soothe to take out some of the unwanted frequencies in the low mids. And then I added this EQ to take out the high end, the low end, and then some really sharp frequencies in the mids. And then I added uh, this portal preset ghost right here. And this is what that sounds like. All right, so for the next sound, I just took this same exact pattern right here and I just copied it over. I pitched it up a whole octave, so we went up 12 semitones right here. And then I put it to its own mixer track. And as you can see, I added some portal. So another portal preset and then I added an EQ to take out some of the highs and some of the lows and this is what this sounds like and what I did is I layered it with the original sound so it sounds like this together so 
as you can see, I've added a lot of effects. I had a bunch of effects on the original pattern and then I rendered it out, put it to his own mixer track, added even more effects and then rendered that out, put it to another mixer track and added even more effects and then layered it. And so that's something I've learned um, kind of as a trick for Nardo melodies is you can take the same sound and you can just keep adding effects or keep adding, you know, like reversing or messing with the pitch and then messing around with layering them. And it kind of makes it sound a lot more unique. And as you can see in the playlist, I have um, these halftime and these volume automations because um, at certain points throughout the sample, I have those patterns halftimed or not halftimed. And then I have the volume go up when it's half time. Okay, and like I just said, you can take the same pattern and you can come up with completely different sounding melodies. So what I did is I took that same MIDI from the first pattern and I pulled up this second preset from the Nebula Analog Lab Bank. As you can see, it's the same exact MIDI. And I have it at its own mixer track right here and I have it half timed. I have an EQ and then Valhalla super massive on it. And then this is what that sounds like. And then as you can see throughout the sample, I have that mixed in with the other two. So for the next sound, I got this bell from the Nebula One Shot Kit, and it sounds like this just by itself. And then I laid down this really repetitive pattern once again, it sounds like this. And then I pitched it up an octave. I put it to its own mixer track and I added an EQ to take out the lows and the highs. And then I added an RC20 to add some distortion and some wobble to that. And then I added a lot of reverb and a shaper box to make it go from left to right. And then again, like I was just explaining, I took the same exact sound, the same exact pattern, and I rendered it out as an audio clip. And I just messed around with different effects to make it sound more unique. So I rendered it out. I went here, I rendered it out as an audio clip, brought it in. I pitched it up a whole octave and then I reversed it as well and then put it to the same mixer track to add the same effects. And so with all of that, it sounds like this. So for the final sound in the sample, I have this bass one shot from the same one shot kit. As you can see, it's just following the root note of the sample. Like I said, we're in D sharp minor and it's just a simple uh, sub bass. Sounds like that. And then for the effects, the only thing I added was this decapitator preset for some distortion. So once I had all the sounds that I wanted, I just structured out the sample how I wanted. So as you can see, I have different parts throughout the sample. I have um, the first part that doesn't have the um, the first melody that I showed and then that melody comes in with the bell and then the reverse bell and then as you can see for the second part right here I have it half timed but so it's the same pattern just half timed and then um, I just copied that over and so I have this first part with all those variations and the bass and then the second part just doesn't have the bass and then as usual I included all the stems at the end so whoever uses the sample they can chop up the sample as it is or they can use the stems and arrange it how they want and then once i arranged it how i wanted to i just rendered it out as an audio file i brought it back in and like i said we were in d sharp i pitched it down from d sharp to c and then i uh, did the same thing with the bass so the bass was at d sharp put it down to c and then i put it to its own mixer track and i added a virtual tape machine and an eq to take out the low end so yeah that's pretty much it for the sample um hopefully you guys learned something new hopefully you took something away uh, like i said you can take the same exact pattern same sound and you can mess with a bunch of manipulation like either adding effects or reversing it or messing with the pitch um and you can kind of layer it with the original sound and just come up with something really unique so anyways i'll leave a link down in the description for the uh bundle with the one shot kit and the analog lab bank if you're interested in that don't forget to subscribe to the dnx channel and i'll see you in the next video